Hello and welcome to Sea Spots Farm Boys Club. <laughs> this is Tammy Capuccio at Sea Spots Farm in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And I thought we'd spend a few minutes in, in the Boys Club. Boys Club actually is where I keep all my single roosters. Um, mostly they're young. Um, most are for sale, if not all of them. These are like the extra boys. And they really get along well. But it does take some work. <laughs> Look at him enjoying the sun. <laughs> for a successful boys club or a bachelor pad, some people call it, uh, I found that the best thing is to have lots of objects that they can get away from each other. Crates buckets um, we have uh, we keep one like little nest area when I've had um, hens and chicks in here but uh, and they like to roost on top of that and some other objects that they can just get away from each other that's the main clue the other is to have multiple feeding areas feeding stations I have two feeding areas one is right there and the other is right there. And if I thought that some weren't uh, getting enough food, maybe they were uh, low on the totem pole, didn't have confidence or weren't eating, I would put another one on the other side, like over here in the corner. And the same with water. I have one water because these guys are all getting along but I would put multiple waters out just to make sure that everybody is getting what they need. And in this pen, I have mostly bantam poachins. We have splash, which is this color. And then we have some dark blues. And I think that one's a black one. We also have some Sarama cockerels. That's a mottled Millie Fleur Bantam Cochin. But we have, let's see if we can see him. Uh, the guy in the back there, um, we have a red frizzle Bantam Cochin that's underneath, but we also have a, he's eating, he can't see his head's down. But that's a sizzle. That's a Sarama that carries both silkied and frizzle jeans. So he shows both of them. And it results usually in a real puffy, uh, which is what I like, fluffy feathered bird. And the thing is, you don't want to breed frizzle to frizzle because it results in genetic problems, uh, internal tumors. Hens tend to have trouble laying and a lot of assorted different problems. So you don't ever want to breed frizzle to frizzle, but you can breed silkied to frizzle. And you get this sizzle. And this guy here is one of our roosters. He's a blue with, uh, he carries mottled. You can see the white in his wings and it's a duck wing is his base color. You can tell that because the bottom of his wings are white. So he carries the silver gene. If he carried the gold gene, they would be tan or brown. Um, but he's a, it's gonna be a nice rooster for breeding or showing. And that's a little a little cockerel we have. He's a little chocolate and white duckling. Um, actually, yes, he's got a little bit of white, so he does carry mottled as well. And we have a smooth little cockerel there. He's black with, uh, he's going to have a gold, or actually he could be blue, real dark blue. In the sun, you can just see, looks like he's dark blue with some lacing. But he's a real little guy. And he's going to have a gold hackle and saddle. And uh, the Millie Fleur Cochins are not for sale. I'm going to be breeding those. Uh, I've always loved Bantam Cochins. And the Millie color is one of my favorites. And uh, a lot of people confuse the term Millie Fleur as meaning... The Belgian Duclays, which are famous for having the Millie, Duclair, uh, Millie Fleur color. But that's actually the name of the color. Millie Fleur means thousand flowers in French. 
and that's a nice dark blue there's a nice splash and these cockerels uh, the bantam cochin cockerels are ten dollars each uh, the red frizzle is uh, ten dollars the Sarama cockerels are twenty dollars there's one I think that's actually right there in the bowl not sure what he is because he's got the feathers but he doesn't have the coach and tail he's got more of a Sarama tail uh, and his comb is different different from the others it's like a, almost like a buttercup type comb I'm not that familiar with that but he's a cute cross uh, and he's just ten dollars and he's very curious and very friendly. He tends to be the one to come up to me whenever I'm out here. He has already been over visiting with me. Now he's just kind of wandering around. But everybody's just kind of chilling. And again, the key to a uh, bachelor pad is lots of uh, things for them to get away from each other. Plenty of roosting places. Uh, having enough water and food stations and if you do have a bully to remove that bully uh, there is going to be some argument when you first put them together as they establish who's more dominant than the others but they eventually work it out hello darling um, they do eventually work it out and um, they get along well like these guys do. So that's us around the bachelor pad and Bantam Cochins. Oh, here he is. Here's this guy I was telling you about. Hello. You coming to visit? Yeah. It's a cool poem. I don't know his parents. But he was raised... Oh, little scuffle. It is kind of a smaller space than I would like. Um, but I gotta do with what I have. Um, the more space you have for him, the better it is. So, but. Yeah, look at you, handsome. And our little friend. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you for visiting Sea Spots Farm and our little bachelor pad and we'll talk to you again soon